Entrepreneur on Fire, episode 252. Welcome to EntrepreneurOnFire.com, where remarkable entrepreneurs share their inspiring story. Let their journey illuminate your path to success. And now, your host, John Dumas. Meep, meep. Fire Nation. Was that the Roadrunner? Oh, no. That was LegalZoom stopping by to let you know that they've got you covered. Find an award-winning service that's right for you at LegalZoom.com and enter FIRE in the referral box at checkout. Fire Nation. Whether your business needs a logo, web, apparel, or mobile app design, 99designs has you covered. Visit 99designs.com slash fire to be connected with thousands of designers who are ready to work on your next project right now. That's 99designs.com slash fire. Okay, Fire Nation, let's get started. I am simply thrilled to introduce my guest today, Lawan Stockstill Diggs. Lawan, are you prepared to ignite? Yes, I am, John. <laughs> All right. Born and raised in Nashville, Tennessee, Lawan is a father, husband, and entrepreneur with the desire to help others succeed. Taking his experiences working in customer service and making a lucrative income from buying and selling online, Lawan has helped people all around the world with his self-help books. I've given Fire Nation just a little overview, Lawan, so take a minute, tell us about you personally, we want to get to know you, and then give us an overview of your business. Yeah, me personally, uh, like I said, in the uh, bio, born and raised in Nashville, I'm a father of three. I have a 13-year-old son and 12-year-old twins, and so... Started out real early. When I was 21, I had three kids, man. And so uh, just stumbled across a great hustle on Craigslist. And so just living a, a blessed life as an entrepreneur, being able to work full time from home and have my wife work full time from home and raise my kids, man. And so a very witty and laid back person. And I just enjoy life and enjoy hustling on on Craigslist. <laughs> well, I'm excited to dive into this because this world is made up of all different kinds of entrepreneurs in so many different niches. At Entrepreneur on Fire, I try to bring them all together. I like people that have products, services, different niches of all kinds. The interview before you, Luan, was with somebody who makes doggy treats out of her kitchen and home. I mean, there's just all types. And so I'm excited to hear your story, your journey. But before we do, we love starting with a success quote to get that motivational ball rolling. So take it away. I say my success quote is, in times like this, Everyone needs a hustle. And so I found my hustle and I enjoy sharing it with others and watching them start their own hustle and succeed as well. So, Luan, this is about you. You're our spotlighted guest today. Okay. Break down this quote. How have you recently hustled to make it happen? Now, we're not going to dive into your whole story right now because we're going to step into that in about a minute. But just break down this quote for us and how it applies to you. Well, with my hustle, uh, I like legit hustles that keep me out of jail. And so the <laughs> best way I found is on Craigslist. And so whether it be buying and selling washers and dryers, buying and selling cars, buying and selling lamps, <laughs> uh, whatever I can get my hand on for it and, and flip it and make a profit. Uh, that's the hustle that I found to and come to enjoy just being computer savvy, enjoying browsing the internet at all times, enjoying just making a profit. You see a lot of the uh, reality shows, Pond Kings and things like that. Well, I, you know, pretty much do the same thing just from the comfort of my own home. While I'm on this interview with you, I'm browsing Craigslist on another browser trying to see what I can come across and make a few dollars when I get finished. So <laughs> that's what I do. Well, Juan, I'm going to ask you to try to focus on this interview because you, okay, have so, the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> you have so much potential knowledge to impart upon us. And just for the next 25 minutes, just give your attention, give your heart, give your soul to us. And then I promise you, karma is going to come back and you're going to find that great deal later today. I promise you I'll do that, John. <laughs> You're the man. So I'm a history guy. I love history. And one of the oldest ways of commerce is buying low and selling high. Everybody from way back in the day, they would try to get a, the quickest route to India or China so they could buy things for cheap and then come back and sell it in the European continent for more expensive. It is one of the oldest trades possible. And now you've taken it to a virtual world. And so I'm going to find this very interesting. But before we exactly dive into you browsing Craigslist right now and trying to find these deals and all of this stuff, 
Let's go back in your journey, because you at one time were a 21-year-old with three babies to feed. I mean, man, when I was 21 years old, I was trying to do 21-second keg stands. I wasn't trying to feed any babies, although I will say a year and a half later, I was serving our country in Iraq. So it is crazy how quickly things can change from just a couple years. And for you, going from 20 with no kids to 21 with three kids, that's pretty darn crazy in a lot of areas. So Tell us about your journey, Luana. We want to know about you and tell us about a failure or a struggle that you faced early on. It is. And so with, uh, like you said, being 20 with no kids and by the time I'm 21, 22, I had three. So uh, I had to stop going to college so that, that I, you know, work so my wife could stay home with the children. And I had a job for about two years and uh, right into that third year, I got laid off. First time I've ever been laid off. My wife's not working. I'm not working. Didn't have a way to support her. Didn't know what to do. And so uh, with that being said, I went to work for my brother who was a mover, just would provide moving help with him. And he would get like tons of furniture that he would have to turn down. And eventually I started taking some of this furniture for him, using it to supply my own house and furnish my own home with it. And uh, he had received a couple of washer and dryer sets that he couldn't do anything with. And at the time I couldn't use them because I had one. But uh, one day he told me, hey, uh, if you sell this washer and dryer, I split the profit with you. And that was it. I put it on uh, this thing that they call Craigslist that I didn't know a lot about at the time. Not many people did back then. They really didn't, man. And so I was kind of weary of it. Uh, uh, Leary, just because uh, I had got burned on eBay uh, a few months back uh, with a a transaction. So I said, I'm like, I'm never going to sell anything on the internet again. (laughs) Well, in this this case, I didn't have any money, didn't have a job. So I needed to sell it one way or another. And that thing sold within like the hour. And I'm like, wow, I could have got maybe $50 more off of it since it sold so quick. And so that was my failure, man. I just, you know, getting laid off from a job, not having a way to support your family, not knowing how you're going to make it, you know, the next day, it, it was just really woke me up. Wow. I mean, so Luan, take us back there. For the first time ever, you were fired and you have three kids at home. You have a wife who up till that point, it was, you were the sole provider for this family. And you had to get out there and just start, in your words, which I love, hustle. You had to just get out there and start making things happen. From that entire experience, what's one clear lesson you pulled from that really hard time of having to face the fact when you woke up the next day and had no job to where you were back in the game? Uh, Like I said, in times like that, I needed a hustle. It wasn't going to come to me. Money wasn't growing on trees. I couldn't depend on the government, you know, to provide for my family and all of our needs. And so I wasn't looking for a handout. I I absolutely received any type of help that I was uh, blessed to receive from whether church family or, you know, family members or whatever. But uh, as the man, I had to get out and, and make something happen. And so I couldn't do it being lazy. I couldn't do it wishing and hoping and, and being upset about what happened to me as far as uh, me receiving that pink slip because of lack of work where I was working at the time. That is just great insights. And if you could just give a word of advice for listeners who find themselves in a similar situation, what would that be? Main thing is just don't never give up, never give up. There's always hope out there, regardless. Like in the uh, beginning of a book I wrote, I say uh, there's light uh, at the end of the tunnel and it's not an oncoming train. That's something Dave Ramsey says a lot. And and that's something something that I really took to heart. Uh, You know, every day I woke up breathing alive. My family is well. Uh, You know, we were happy regardless of what we did or did not have. And so there was hope. And so each day was a new day for me to fight, a new day for me to dig. So what year was it that you sold that first washer dryer on Craigslist? It was around 2004. Okay, so 2004. Now, let's just take Fire Nation back. Let's paint this picture. Craigslist, it really hasn't changed actually that much as a website. It hasn't become this like fancy, smashy website in the past nine years since 2004. It hasn't changed that much. It's still really this text-based place to go and buy and sell. And so when you first got there, you had just been burned by eBay and you were just like, man, I'm never going to trust this virtual world again. People out there are just scamming everything. But you did. You went out there, you created an ad on Craigslist, you sold it very quickly. And that's what I like to call a light bulb moment, Lawan. Something went on in your head. This light went on. You had this aha moment of source and you said, wow, this is something that I can do to make money and I, I can hustle. And the better I get at what I'm doing, potentially the higher the profit margin. There's a lot of opportunity out there. So take us to that moment when that light bulb went off. What actions did you take in 2004 moving forward? When that light bulb went off, I said, okay, if, if I sold that washer and dryer within the hour, 
I wonder, can I get another one from somewhere else? So I called my brother. He didn't have any at the time. So at that point, I went to Craigslist and I just started to browse. You see ads, people moving, need to sell ASAP, uh, upgraded uh, my appliances. So I'm selling my old one. So I'm looking at all of this stuff and I'm like, wow, what can I do? And so I really didn't have a lot of money at the time. So what I ended up doing and I talked to my wife and she had faith in me. I sold a few items in my home, some furniture and, and, and electronics just to get some money so that I could go out and buy another washer and dryer set. Because I said, wow, I see this set on here for $100, $150. Surely I can sell it for $250, $300. And so I was able to sell some appliances and furniture in my home, go out, buy two more sets. And from that point, <laughs> it hasn't stopped. So let's go to that first purchase you actually made. You sold a couple things. It was $150, give or take. Take us to that moment that you went to that person's house. How did that interaction happen? And what was some light bulbs that were going off in your head during that time? The main thing is just going into the home and seeing uh, they had upgraded their appliances. Uh, the first thing that I ran into was because I had an SUV, not for sure whether or not the washer and dryer would even fit in the back of right. it. So, so getting there, I'm like, OK, how am I going to get this set home? They didn't have a truck. They didn't have help. And so I'm like, wow, how's it going to work? And so actually picking up that set show, I realized that I could fit a washer and dryer in there at that moment. And I was so thankful. But going in, I'm seeing that. They wasn't aware of what their washer and dryer was worth. They just wanted to get it out of the home. And so I'm seeing, I'm like, wow, this is a three-year-old set. And they're selling it for $150. And uh, just because they got a newer set. And I'm like, wow, I'm sure I can make about $400 off of this set. Not only save somebody money, but make me money at the same time and get this set out of their home. And so just all type of light bulbs was going off. Yes. Uh, just, and I'm just looking forward to the next set. And so once I got that set, just going back to Craigslist with New Insight, knowing exactly what to look for in my next set. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. So this is a light bulb that's going off in my mind here. And just tell me if you've ever done this. Have you ever saw an ad like that on Craigslist, saw that it was way undervalued, but at the same time, listeners need to realize, and we all need to realize that there is value in you going, removing that from their house. There's value in that because they want out of their house and you're providing that value. So there is some there. But have you ever taken an ad that you've seen and then reposted it on Craigslist even before you went and bought it? So then you went and got the washer dryer and then just transported it directly to the next buyer? I absolutely have. I've, I've, <laughs> take, I've taken the same pictures that they posted. Yes. And I use the same story where there's, uh, they're moving and they need to get the set out of their home. And so I would post that same ad and someone would call and say, why are you selling it? And I would let them know I'm selling it on behalf of a client who's moving. You're the middleman, Lawan. I mean, that's, that's a legitimate trade. That's true. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. So take us forward, Lawan. So it's 2004. You've made your first couple moves and money's starting to come in because of the profit margin that you're rightfully taking off the top. Share us some really interesting stories and setbacks that you had in the last nine years through this Craigslist hustle. I would say the, the, the success I had is just meeting other individuals who was who were doing the same thing that I was doing uh, at different auctions because from washers and dryers it moved me up to where I can move to bigger items. So I would uh, frequent auctions around my city and local cities outside of uh, where I live in Nashville and uh, just buy bigger items, uh, whether it be cars or uh, lots of furniture because furniture moves very quickly, uh, PlayStation, cell phones and things of that nature. So I met a lot of people. And uh, some setbacks I had was just um, running into some some shady individuals who who didn't practice good business uh, 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 practices within their their business. And so I, I lost some money along the way, which helped me to help others. Absolutely. So, Lawan, let's talk about your biggest failure from 2005 to 2013, that real story. And then we're going to turn that around and talk about your biggest success. Two individual stories. Start with the biggest burn that you got. I'll say one of the biggest burns was uh, going in on a, a, a furniture uh, set at an auction. It was uh, We paid about $3,000 for it. And, and I made the mistake of allowing a gentleman who had made great success on Craigslist. He had opened up two for, uh, storefronts and was just everything he would buy on Craigslist, he would put it in the stores and people would come in and, and purchase it. So I put my stuff in there as well, uh, just trying to move it a little quicker. And this guy ends up closing down shop, taking all of my furniture, didn't hear anything from him. 
And so there was a loss I had to take. Didn't, and, and I didn't even know his real first or last name, which is really crazy. I was just so anxious to just, you know, just make some money. And I just trusted too too easily with this gentleman. And so he he pretty much burned and took my, my stuff along with another uh, a guy that I worked with as well. So before we move into your biggest success, what's just one real takeaway that you can share with Fire Nation of that experience? The main thing is just do your, your background research. Due diligence. Yeah, due diligence. And don't be afraid to 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 trust in yourself. You as far as I thought I needed him. To, to make money. I thought I needed him to, to be successful and I really didn't. I had everything I needed within my own home and within my own family. Love that. So Luan, talk to us now about the biggest success that you've had or maybe the most proud transaction that you facilitated. The most proud transaction, believe it or not, is as I hustled and individuals started seeing how I was making money uh, off of Craigslist, they was like, wow, you need to write a book. And I, and I really didn't take it serious. <laughs> What do you mean I need to write a book? But the more and more I started hearing that, the more and more I seen that people really needed the information that I that I uh, and the wisdom that I uh, gained from buying and selling on Craigslist. So I wrote a book called The Craigslist Hustle. And uh, right now it's the number one book uh, on Amazon and in the entrepreneur section for the keyword Craigslist. And uh, it's just it's just going man, it's flying off the shelves, per se. It's an, I got it in ebook format as well as a paperback. And just I get emails uh, weekly just from people all over the world just thanking me and they check out my YouTube videos. And so I still buy and sell even today on Craigslist, but just the Craigslist Hustle book, that's the biggest success I can definitely say I have from this experience. That's phenomenal. I mean, on the job training as an army officer, that was the biggest mantra that we had because when we went and we fell upon our platoon of tanks, infantry, artillery, whatever it may be, we don't really know what's going on. I mean, we've been trained as officers in the army, but nothing really specific because until you get there and actually have your hands on the equipment and are being trained by those who have more experience, you really are never going to be able to have that real learning experience. So that on the job training was key. And that's what you were doing, Lawan. You were living, it. you were buying, you were selling, you were getting burned, you were having successes. All of these things are just nuggets of wisdom that you're able to put into a book format and share with people. And let me just commend you on being the number one selling book in Amazon for the keyword Craigslist. And that is Thank that you. is phenomenal. And those emails that you're receiving are, I'm sure, very touching from all over the world. And I've had very similar things with Entrepreneur on Fire. I actually have the number one selling book in Amazon on podcasting, with that being the keyword called Podcast Launch. And I get the same responses from people around the world who wanted to find their voice and share their message with the world through a podcast. And my book and 15 video tutorials helps them do that. And I'm sure there's people that are looking to do what you do with Craigslist that are having vast success. And again, and it's not just in Nashville, Tennessee, with the World Wide Web, with Amazon, people are buying your book in Africa in right. Europe, in South America, and they're doing the Lawan way down there. And that's just so exciting. And before we, we move on and talk a little more about your book, I just find these actual one-on-one -on -one transactions fascinating. And you shared with us a burn that you had. Share right. with us an actual product that you purchased that you were most successful with, either financially or just in a pride-wise, for what you bought it for, what you sold it for. And explain to us that transaction. I would say uh, I got a few, uh, not only washers and dryers, but uh, also uh, some chandeliers. Believe it or not, I was able to get about $8,000 worth of chandeliers for right, uh, right around $800. And that included me renting a U-Haul and putting gas in it. And, uh, and so that was a, a, a great transaction because what I did is went through my whole home, changed out every light in my house with the new chandeliers, and then still uh, sold the rest of them and made a, a, a very nice profit <laughs> at the end of the day. So that was a great, great one. Also, with a car that I bought, I bought a car from, from an individual who uh, uh, needed to sell it really quick. I paid like $1,500 for it, and I have this story on YouTube as well. And this particular car uh, was involved in a hailstorm like a week after I bought it. I bought, paid $1,500 for it. Uh, so, of course, I took it to, to my insurance company. They ended up giving me $2,500 for it, and it was, it was just like a win-win situation. And so what I tell people with that is if you ever buy cars to flip them, make sure you get full coverage insurance because you never know what might happen in the interim before while you're trying to buy and sell them. And so that was just a great success story for me as well. 
So thank you for sharing those two stories because we love hearing about the failures because there's so much to learn from those. And we love hearing about the successes because likewise, there's so much to learn. Let's move into the Craigslist hustle. Talk to us about that book. It's $3.99 in Amazon right now, the ebook format. Just type in Craigslist. It's the number one book that's going to pop up in Amazon. So talk to us about it, Lawan. We want to know about this book, what inspired you to write it, and what's in the book. Yeah, what inspired me to write it was uh, individuals just saying, you need to write a book. And I didn't take them serious at first. But the more and more that I made money hustling, I seen that they needed this information. And so the uh, types of uh, downfalls that I took, because when you start doing a lot of business on Craigslist, there's a, a lot of things that can come up against you as far as how the system is set up, because I post on Craigslist uh, at least about 20 times a day. And so there's different things, filters where the system is set up to block your email and things of that nature. And so in the book, I explain to people how to bypass and how to get through those kinks and how to really make money. And, and I tell people this is not a, a, a $3.99 or a $20 seminar or 20 CDs. This is real life experiences from somebody who has been buying and selling on Craigslist for over eight years now. Teach you how to really set up a post, how to really uh, get the most profit out of your 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 investment. And so when and I really cater to washers and dryers. And so. I did a, an update to the book here uh, back in March, and it just really has a section just for individuals looking to flip appliances. And so uh, just a lot of information, everything from postings to how to find stuff when you don't have any money, uh, when you don't have a truck, how to still make money and hustle on Craigslist with the smaller items. And so it just it's just really an overhaul for people to make money buying and selling on Craigslist. Share with Fire Nation your vision for your future. For my future, I just see myself just traveling the country uh, with the Craigslist Hustle book and just really sitting down teaching individuals how to truly make money uh, using Craigslist uh, because everybody's not going to sell washers and dryers or furniture. You may have a different hustle, whether it's antiques or potteries or whatnot, but just the information that I have to share with you is going to uh, translate and carry over into whatever product you have and show you how to really maximize the profit off of uh, whatever you're selling. And it's, this is not a get rich quick scheme. This is really for individuals who were in the uh, situation that I was where I really needed a hustle at the time, whether I was down on my luck or somebody who's just needing extra income, uh, somebody who's in temporarily financial hardships. This is for you. And uh, and you can transfer it over and make money. You can end up opening up your own storefront. A lot of people ask me, how come you don't open up your own storefront? Well, I just really didn't want that. I, I didn't mind doing business out of my home. I've met a lot of great people. And so right now uh, I do a lot of podcast interviews and things of that nature. So I just enjoy just sharing the wealth of uh, knowledge that I have. And I just see myself continuing to do that even on bigger and broader scales. And so I'm so thankful for this opportunity even here today. Great insights, Luan. Now let's chat 99 Designs. Why are you looking in that corner for that graphic designer, silly? I already told you, I know just where you can go to connect with over 210,000 designers, 99designs.com slash fire. At 99designs, you'll start out with a complimentary design consultation with their San Francisco design team. Then you'll be in direct contact with the designers who are working on your project so you can give them your feedback and they'll refine their designs until you're satisfied. 100% money back guarantee. And check this out. They've had over 100,000 design products pass through their doors. Their team specializes in everything from logos to apparel designs, even mobile app designs. To start your next design project today, visit 99designs.com slash fire and get a $99 power pack of services for free. That's 99designs.com slash fire. Boom, shake, shake, shake the room. Boom. Oops. Sorry. Didn't see you there. I was just checking out LegalZoom.com and man, they've got it going on. Check this out. I take securing my business very seriously. And that's why I want to let you know about the award-winning services that LegalZoom has to offer. LegalZoom services have been developed by the best legal minds in the country. And every business that works with LegalZoom gets personalized attention from start to finish. That's why over 90% of their customers would recommend the service to their family. 90%. LegalZoom is not a law firm and provides self-help services at your specific direction. But there's so much more. Now, every LLC and incorporation package includes easy-to-use business accounting software, a $269 value, free. 
Be sure to enter FIRE in the referral box at checkout. Start protecting your business today at LegalZoom.com. So we've now reached my favorite part of the show. We're about to enter the lightning round. And this is where I get to ask you a bunch of questions. And you come back at us, Fire Nation, with amazing and mind-blowing answers. Sound like a plan? It sounds great. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Luan, what was holding you back from becoming an entrepreneur? I was comfortable. I was making money, had a guaranteed income every two weeks, uh, insurance, health, dental, vision. I didn't need to, to, to go out and be an entrepreneur. I was just... My daddy always raised me to just to earn an honest check and uh, something that was safe and secure. And so why go out and be an entrepreneur mm. until I lost my job? <laughs> <laughs> what is the best advice you've ever received? I had a gentleman told me, always keep your ear to the street. And what that means is just always listen. Uh, if you listen to people carefully, you'll always be able to help them and, all, and as well help yourself. Uh, people are always selling stuff. You may hear somebody say, I need to get out here and clean this garage out. Well, you never know. You can go and offer to clean that garage out and you can, can get you some free stuff that you can flip on Craigslist yourself. So always be willing to listen to other people and what they have need of and you'll be surprised what you can get out of it by helping them as well. So maybe one ear to the street and one ear with a headphone plugged in listening to a podcast. That's it. That's it. Luan, <laughs> what's something that's working for you right now? And still to this day, it's just buying and selling washers and dryers and uh, pushing the Craigslist Hustle ebook and uh, putting YouTube videos online and helping others because I, I, I really like helping others. I like serving others. And so that's what's helping and working for me right now. Do you have an internet resource like an Evernote that you're just in love with that you can share with our listeners? My main thing I like is a, it's a, I got a website called auctionzip.com. And uh, it allows you to put in your zip code and you can find pretty much any auction site within a certain radius. And so I'm always frequenting uh, different auctions, whether in my local city or other states, looking to buy and sell and bring it back home. Mm, love it. And speaking of a resource, have you ever heard of ScreenFlow, Lawan? No, I haven't. What I is that? I feel like ScreenFlow would be amazing for you. And the reason is this, because I'm actually going through this process right now with okay. my product. And what it is, is it literally just records your computer screen as you're going through doing whatever you want to do. So in addition to my book, Podcast Launch, it also comes with 15 video tutorials, which I use ScreenFlow to record my screen as I go through and do all the technical aspects of recording a podcast. You huh. could be doing that, going through the technical processes of setting up those different email accounts on Craigslist, and people could be following you as you're talking into a microphone on your screen and it's recording into that video, you can then put on YouTube and they could follow you step by step on the process and make it even more clear than just a book. It can be above and beyond. And maybe it's even a product down the line for you. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm writing it down right now because I've never heard of it. <laughs> You're the man, Luan. I did do a podcast a while back and a gentleman told me about an, an app that, that actually uh, refreshes your Craigslist screen for you automatically like every five minutes where you don't have to keep clicking the refresh button. And so that's something else that has uh, become useful as well. Wow. See, that's why it's great to just mix it up in the industry, talk to people even in different niches because right. we all have intel from just our different life experiences to combine to make all of us better. Right. So Fire Nation, you know you can find the links to this resource, what I just said, ScreenFlow, and everything else that we've talked about in today's episode by going to entrepreneuronfire.com slash Luan Diggs. So Luan, if you could recommend one book to our listeners, what would it be? Of course, it's going to be uh, The Craigslist Hustle. <laughs> yes. That on Amazon, as well as going to my website, which is uh, mrcraigslisthustle.com. Uh, where you can get the paperback version or the ebook. So the Craigslist Hustle. So, Luan, this next question is my favorite. It's kind of tricky. So take your time, digest it, and come back at us with an answer. Imagine you woke up tomorrow morning in a brand new world, identical to Earth, but you knew no one. You still have all the experience and knowledge you currently have, your food and shelter is taken care of, but all you have is a laptop and $500. What would you do in the next seven days? The first thing I would do is go on Craigslist, go to the appliance section, and I would buy, I believe with $500, I can get at least three sets of washers and dryers. I would pay $200 for, for one, and I think I could get, could get the other two for about $150 a piece. I would just start hustling because I've never sat on a washer and dryer set no more than two days. That's how quick they move. Out of the uh, hundreds of sets I've sold, they all move within two days. 
So from that point, within <laughs> within seven days, I believe I'd be sitting pretty well because I sell those three within the first two days and I do it again, I do it again, and I do it again. Well, Luan, what I've loved about this interview is you've just provided actionable advice. You've provided some great resources. Your book is going to be inspiring for a lot of people for so many different reasons. So thank you for all of that. And share with Fire Nation just one parting piece of guidance and then the best way to connect with you. And then we'll say goodbye. Uh, the best way to connect, first off, I would say is just go to my website, www.mrcraigslisthustle.com. Dot com. You can email me from there as well as uh, watch my YouTube videos and things of that nature. And like I said, just parting advice is just uh, just every day. Keep hustling. Uh, don't give up. Uh, there's always, like I said, light at the end of the tunnel. That's not an oncoming train. And uh, every day that you're alive and walking the earth, that's another day for God to bless you and to allow you to keep hustling, make money, be the entrepreneur that you want. And and from there, it's, you know, success is, 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 is uh, it's all up to you. The sky's the limit. Sky is the limit. Lawan Fire Nation is well aware that they can find links to everything that we've talked about in today's episode by going to entrepreneuronfire.com slash Lawan Stockstill Diggs. Lawan, thank you for being so generous with your time, your expertise, your experience. Fire Nation salutes you and we'll catch you on the flip side. You take care. Thank you, John. Fire Nation. You may have been hearing the buzz about Fire Nation Elite, and rightfully so. The path of an entrepreneur is lonely and scary, and Fire Nation Elite changes all that. I've created a two-minute video just for you at FireNationElite.com so you can find out exactly what our 100% support policy means. FireNationElite.com Thank you for joining us at EntrepreneurOnFire.com your daily dose of inspiration. Prepare to ignite.